Uh, I'm watching this video uh, by Veritasanium, I think you call it. It's four things it takes to be an expert. So let me just watch this little clip bit first. Sorts of problems. Political scientist Philip Tetlock picked 284 people who make their living commenting or offering advice on political and economic trends. This included journalists, foreign policy specialists, economists, and intelligence analysts. Over two decades, he peppered them with questions like, would George Bush be reelected? Would apartheid in South Africa end peacefully? Would Quebec secede from Canada? And would the dot-com bubble burst? In each case, the pundits rated the probability of several possible outcomes. And by the end of the study, Tetlock had quantified 82,361 predictions. So how do they do? Pretty terribly. These experts, most of whom had postgraduate degrees, performed worse than if they had just assigned equal probabilities to all the outcomes. In other words, people who spend their time and earn their living studying a particular topic produce poorer predictions than random chance. Okay, so I'm going to equate this to the crypto space. If you think about all these experts like uh, George from Cryptos or Us, James from Invest Answers, Bitboy Crypto, um, any one of them, okay? So I'm not picking on anyone specific. I just named a few, okay? But effectively, what this, this video is saying is that all these YouTubers just have not got a clue, okay? Because what we're dealing in is unique. Um, I'm not going to say one-off, okay? But all the time, crypto is changing. And there's so many different variables that it's impossible to... Yes, you can give an educated guess, but what he's effectively saying is all these educated guesses are just as good as what a, what a random guy in the street might say. So in other words, they're completely worthless. <laughs> uh, that's the upshot of this, art, uh, this video. And if you look, go back to sort of 2021 in November when all the experts were saying that Bitcoin is going to go to 100,000. And yes, it might still go to 100,000, but they were all saying Bitcoin will definitely go to 100,000 in 2022. Okay. And obviously we're at 23,000 now. And it went as low as 17 and a half. So pretty much all the experts got it wrong. And in short, you can't trust any YouTube crypto, uh, cryptoers. So there you go. Do your own research and make your best guess yourself.